Hello and welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Please grab your favorite beverage of choice and join me. We are going to be going through the vlog for April's Once Upon a Book Club box. I can't wait. This was a book I was so excited to come out. It was one of my top three in my TBR games, I believe for April. So I am so excited to get to this and to be able to review it and see what incredible gifts that they gave us this time. So I've just started the April Once Upon a Book Club book choice, The Revenant Games, and I'm literally on page 12 when we have our very first little note there. Um, and basically so far, it's interesting. It's got these two sisters, and it's got a world of witches and vampires, and so far all we know is these two sisters are trying to get some money because one of the sisters is like in love with this boy that they have in their village and wants to show him a different side of herself by purchasing a fancy dress and kind of showing off her curves and such. And uh, so her sister agreed to help her harvest some mushrooms to sell at the market. And that's where I'm at. And it literally says that she took a sharp breath as Bly's fingers closed around the velvet soft mushroom. So I'm interested in seeing what gift we're going to get with that. And meanwhile, um, yeah, so far it's cute. I have no complaints. <laughs> Sorry about that. Whiskey decided that he absolutely had to be a part of it and was getting into things and I didn't want him choking on plastic so I had to snag the box away from him. Uh, but anyway, page 12 like we talked about, I'm going to open that now and it'd be weird to send mushrooms. So I don't think it's mushrooms, but we will see. I bet it's mushroom themed. Um, it looks like... <laughs> Look at that. Is that going to focus? It's not going to focus for me. I know. I was talking about you, buddy. Troublemaker. Yes, you are. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. I think that's like a, a lips, uh, not lip smacker, but you know what I mean? Like a little lip gloss kind of deal. I think that's what that is. It is just really not going to focus today, but it is super cute. Um, I don't need it, so that will be up for grabs, but uh, yeah, let's see what the next one is. So now I have gotten to page 110, so I'm probably a little over 25% through it. Um, we've actually met some vampires now, and one of them is named Kerrigan, and he sounds very debonair, I must say. <laughs> um, and at this particular place, it says he tugged loose his blue silk scarf. So I am willing to bet that we are going to be getting ourselves some kind of a blue silk scarf-like deal in this box. So while I'm opening it, um, I like it. It is interesting. It gives Hunger Game vibes. Um, also gives some Serpent in the Wings of Night vibes now that vampires have been introduced to it, but not quite hitting the mark with either book yet. So I'm really hoping that, and I'm holding out hope that it will pick up, that it will give me all the feels, and I'll end up completely falling in love with these characters. But so far, I'm intrigued and pulled in but I'm not four star or above it just yet. So we will see. And the gift. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that'll be up for grabs. Um, anyway, more to follow. All right, I have gotten to page 315 and um, oh my gosh, so like they had a lot happening in between um, from my last update with you and there's a bit of a romance blossoming and um, it's cute but it's not like giving me all the warm fuzzies and this whole competition isn't nearly as exciting as I wanted it to be so... 
yeah, I'm thinking maybe this is going to be a three star and it's just not going to recover. And I know it's the first in a series. It'll be interesting to see how they wrap up the last little bit because I don't know how I'm going to feel. I think we're going to have to have something really amazing be pulled out here in a minute. Um, but anyway, on page 315, it says, right, practical. I'll get in first, he said, since I'm bigger. He sat down awkward, awkwardly rolled into the hammock. This makes me think that we are going to actually be getting a hammock. <laughs> so I don't know. It's huge and it's heavy. And let's find out and hope that whiskey doesn't eat the packaging like he's been trying to do this whole darn time since I brought the box home. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not miserable with my time. Um, but I, for as much tropes as they have going on and the vibes they've been giving off, I just kind of expected more, I guess. And as hyped as it was coming out, I'm just kind of disappointed so far. And here we go. A canvas hammock. <laughs> I'll have to see if we can put this out in the backyard and actually use it this summer. That might be kind of fun. Take some pictures if we do and send them to you guys. But anyway, there's still, you know, the ending to happen. So maybe I'll be blown away. That's happened before. Fingers crossed. And I'll let you know. Um, I'm only about 30 pages later that they have our last gift um, and basically they're Bly, I shouldn't say they because you're not reading it right now with me, Bly and Kerrigan are looking at some paintings and it's actually kind of a sweet moment and I do appreciate that. The writing is not bad in this at all, it's just not blowing me away like I was hoping. I think I hyped myself too much for this. But anyway, the little gift that we got on this page says, a wolf stood silhouetted against a sky the color of near dark. And that's one of the paintings they're looking at. I am thinking this is probably gonna be a painting. So anyway, um, but yeah, so it's only 30 pages, you know, since my last <laughs> update. So there's not a tremendous amount of stuff um, to really update you on. I've got a sneaking suspicion that since this is the first in a series, somebody's going to get hurt or taken. Um, some of the witches are not as uh, helpful as they seemed and are actually kind of awful. And um, even some of the humans are like not helping them like they thought they were going to. So it's kind of a everybody for themselves kind of situation. Um, and yeah, I, I feel for Bly who's kind of caught in the middle wants to do right by everybody and is doing right by nobody um, kind of thing. But we'll see. We'll see how it wraps up. And ooh, this is, this is kind of pretty. Unfortunately, because it was rolled, it's hard to see all of it. I will get a good picture for you because it's not doing it justice on the video at all. But you had the forest and then the, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see this at all. <laughs> We go do you see the wolf <laughs> so I'll get a picture for you um, and then a full review next all right so thanks for joining me along the way as I was reading it and telling you thoughts and opening up those gifts we did get four very adorable gifts we got the mushroom lip gloss which is up for grabs because I'm not going to use it but it is adorable then we got the blue silk scarf again up for grabs don't really have a use for it, but it is nice and silky feeling and looks cute. And then we got that wonderful canvas hammock, which I am totally going to put in our backyard somehow and give pictures to you. And last but not least, we got the wolf painting print, which is super cute and adorable. And since I love Wolf Song by TJ Kloon, probably going to keep that and find a place here in my book area, my little alcove, to hang it up. So all in all, the gifts were spot on for the story. They were a lot of fun. And for me, I think they also felt like they were pretty decent quality. So I'm going to give the gifts a four stars, which I am so excited to say. Love when those boxes come through. The book itself, I'm going to give a three star to. I know. I am so bummed about that. But the Hunger Games gave us the whole contest and, you know, high stakes and life or death and trying to save her sister and all these other things and all these other vibes and a love triangle and so many good things. But it did it in a better way for me. 
if I compared the two straight up, I think Hunger Games did it much better. And then The Serpent and the Wings of Night going with vampires that are reluctant allies to lovers kind of a thing. And again, a competition against other magical beings like witches and vampires. I just feel like when it came time to pull my heart one way or the other with affections and betrayals and magic using, I was more on the edge of my seat with Serpent and the Wings of Night duology way more than I was with this. So for me, it's like there were so many things I've seen in here that I've seen in other books, but I felt the other books did it better. That for me, it was just kind of a letdown. It, I was never miserable reading it. It was just perfectly fine writing style. Nothing negative to say aside from the tropes in here. I liked better in other books. So for me, this was a three star, not a keeper. And I wasn't pulled in enough, especially at the end. You know, I don't do spoilers. Um, to make me even want to actually continue the series. I know I'll probably be in the huge minority for that. A lot of people are raving about this book and are excited for the next one to come out. It just didn't pull me in enough. So I'm fine saying one and done. That being said, it means this Once Upon a Book Club edition is available for grabs, which is good because it comes with some goodies that are in our packet. So let me open that up now in case you decide in our drawing, this is the book for you you will get some goodies. As always, I have trouble getting this thing open. <laughs> Here we go. You will get a matching bookmark, which is cute. You will get a signature plate by the author. You will get an art print that has a handwritten letter from the author. So that's kind of cool. All of those goodies are yours. So, Inside the actual fun packet that they gave us, we of course have the usual conversations with the author, and we have the discussion questions, if you do book club, and we have a yummy Elise's apple bread recipe this time. I'll go up nice and close in case you like to pause and write down any of these recipes. You have it here. Well, thank you so much for being here for this vlog. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and weekend, and I will see you next time.